Hi guys, welcome back to the Football Manager 2019 series, the Parma Rebuild. This series is sponsored by Football Manager 2019. If you guys want to get your hands on it, there is a link down below in the description so you guys can play along um, in this series or do your own thing with loads of teams around the world. Very enjoyable game. I'm struggling at it. I won't lie, guys. I'm very struggling at it. Um, a lot of time is going to go into the game to learn it inside out. Um, in episode three, episode one was the basically the introduction, me getting used to it and things like that. Episode number two was the transfer window. We're past that, and now it's going to be a clean sweep of games, tactics, and all that good stuff, guys, ready and waiting to help us get a decent finish in the Serie A with Parma. Now, I made some transfers in the last episode. Wasn't really um, that impressed with the transfers they'd make, but the budget was pretty low. Uh, in today's episode, guys, um, the game. We're going to start off literally with a game. We're going to rock with the same tactics, and that, um, the transfer deadline has passed. So you guys can see these are... The uh, what we got minimum of four players registered by Parma, three years. So I made a mistake in the earlier part of the video. I went past this and I screwed up. I didn't read it properly, and this is it. Now the transfer window is closed. Parma have the final chance to confirm the player registration list for the Serie A. Any players not registered in the time will be ineligible to play in the until the next registration window, which I'm not sure when it is. You have three vacant spots. I've attached a list of players who are unregistered and feature in your first team squad as well as the squad registration rules for completion. So we're going to go through it and I do want to um, I do want to make, because Jovino was unregistered, I did see him. He was the one which I made the mistake on. And, I, and the last thing I want, guys, is Jovino missing from my team. Um... So where is he? HG's. I managed to find him, guys. We found Jovino. Um, but one of the things we need to take out is one of the players. I'm not sure which one it is. It's going to be one of these two um, going out. I think. I, don't, I need, to, need to take this one of the this two spots. And one of the players I think I signed is one I'm missing. Bruno Alves. He's one of my starting players, you know. I don't really want to be missing these um, and it probably might be midfielder which I select to take out so taking a look we've got him he's out injured currently Ooh, who do I take out we're going he's a good shout this is this is tough it pro proves tough for me um, already not really thoroughly understanding my team and uh, not bringing him in so he is like huge into injuries I think he's going to be my next player I take out. And then that's it done, guys. So we've got Jovino in and uh, Munari out because he's out injured. And we'll try and bring him in, in the next registration period as well. Actually, how long was his injury? Let's check this. Four months, five months. Yeah, so he's out for, for he's out for a long time, isn't he? Expected to return two to three months. So that's enough time anyway. So we won't register him and we can confer, confirm on and uh, bring in the rest. I want to register. Although next pitch finally is registered in time. Who else do I want to bring in? So these, 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 this is a big one for me. I also want to bring him him in as well. What was his name again? Polido. He was one of the guys who signed, wasn't it? Polido. Defensive first team player. Yes, yeah, so we've got to bring in Polido. Polido and Jovino. So going back into it, looking for Polido now. He is there. Bring him in. And then we're looking for a defender, uh, which we want to take out of the team. So we've got any long-term injury players in the defense. So after taking a look around, guys, this is what I've gone with with my selection of the player registration. We're bringing in Polido. I think he was um, the main player I wanted to bring in was Polido. So he's in. He was our first team transfer, which we made in the window. And uh, now we can confirm it and get it in. Don't show this message again. Right. So the deadline transfer has passed. These players still aren't in the team. Um, we've got Pinto, Silva, and uh, a few others as well. And now it's moving on to see. Silva wants to discuss matters. It's coming, guys. It's coming. People, I've been left in that area. I'm going to play football now. I want to leave. That's fine. I'll offer you. Wow. Um, oh, I'll Yeah, we'll put him as a cut player. I think that's a good choice. That's not good enough. I'm going to fix all I need to leave. That's a bit... Okay. Looks like we got... we got a player leaving, guys. I've made a poor decision, I think. I should have really looked deeper into this. and I've made loads of mistakes. And Silver as well. Um, 
And I'm gonna bring him in, I think, next time as well. I appreciate the escalator upgrade, I promise. Right, okay. So we can manage to keep him, and someone's obviously handed in a transfer request, which is gonna be going. Um, so we're loaned to Affiliate Club, and that is that done. So now we get to break on through, guys, and get into our first game as well. Um, we targeted Georgia. Yeah, that's a good response. This is it. Come on. First game, and I don't know what other games you guys are going to see, but let's take a look at the briefing and uh, see what we're going with. So this is a team that we've got lined up currently. Um, I also do want to make some changes as well. With the tactics, we are underdogs. We're going to adopt to a cautious mentality. We're going to go with that one. Um, and more direct passing. Yeah, probably going to stick with, with that. Uh, we're sticking with the same formation. This isn't the best one in terms of heading. Bernal's heading ability may be... Um, help to exploit this. I do want to bring in and make some uh, changes, but I might have messed up there with not doing it previously. Uh, but I do want to bring in my player. So if we go to the squad, I do want to bring in my new centre back, which is Polito. So if I go to quick pick. So with the team, this is what we've got set up, guys. We brought in Polito for his first game, paired with Danny, uh, sorry, Danny Alves, Bruno Alves, Sepe in there, Inglese, Juvenio, Spocati, Grassi, Rigoni, and uh, Stulak. Apologies, guys, I do make horrendous attempts at people's player names, um, and hopefully this can work for our first game. So we're going to take a full run at the team, probably going to stick with it as well, um, moving on in, um, but this should be... So yeah, again, you get to see the team selection which we're putting in. We did get warned about Spakati lacking in match sharpness and struggle to see out the match. Obviously, that's someone look out for a, su a sub uh, come like, the uh, start of the second half or midway through the second half and a squad number of Polito as well. What should we give him? Number four is available. He does hit it. So let's submit the team and the teams are warming up ready for our first game of the Serie A um, and hopefully we can do all right, guys. There's not much difference between two teams and... Uh, I still think we are the underdog. I still think we're the underdog. Inglese ran riot pre-season. Whether he can come on and do so in these, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. And that's it done, guys. Kick off. Let's get it underway and see how we can get on. I'll be devastated if I do take a defeat in the first couple of games um, at all. But we start off nicely there. Ball out to the wing, picked off. We're waiting for the next highlight, guys. Keep an eye out on the fitness and stuff. The player who we're looking for um, was obviously... Oh, we've got an injury. Damn. That's not good. Please don't move on to a goal. Oh, no. Is that a red card? He was already on a yellow. We've been hit with a red card. How has that even happened? And we've also got an injury as well. Uh, so a few things to sort out in this game. That is rough. We're going to sort out the injury though uh, for our defensive midfielder. And we'll bring on Barilla um, for our player. And he's going to have to sit probably around, probably sit around there and put him in there. And then we, it's going to be a hit and a hope now, guys. The red cards cost us. We're down to 10 men. And that's not good. And I'm going to have to go and uh, give out a shout and uh, concentrate and get going. Because if we can take and get a goal, who knows what can happen, guys. Not the best, though. 17 minutes in, down to 10 men and an injury to uh, our defensive midfielder. But we still look like we're playing all right, actually. Nice pass and play, keeping the ball very well and attacking down the wings. The ball's whipped in. Inglese goes for a chance and smashes it over. And half times come around. We have got the better of the chances, I believe. Rugani's cost me, obviously, and we're going to have to uh, sort out the team itself. Um, players are in good spirits, fairly negative. I want to change the team around a little bit because uh, of the way that we were looking um, then. And it is going to have to be. Uh, it is going to have to be just sorting stuff around. I f I'm tempted to bring these into the central now. And give us a little bit. Jovino's looking absolutely shattered as well. And I might just go with a four. Like that. Go with it like this and see if that can help us, guys. Very, very narrow formation. 
And obviously we're going to take, probably take a look at taking off Javinho and Spakati in the second half of this game. And nothing has really happened, guys. Moving on into the 60th minute of the game, apart from obviously my players absolutely shattered. Javinho's um, looking shattered as well. We've got a yellow card on um, Inglese, but I think it's time to take out Javinho. He's looking absolutely shattered, and I want to bring in my man, um, Bia Biani. He's going to be the player which is coming on in. Now, his match fitness and sharpness isn't the best, but he may help, and I want to potentially bring them in so the red card doesn't help um take Javinho off because he's absolutely he's blowing by looks of it and the same with where's Spokati he look, he's all right actually compared to Inglese uh but we'll take him out anyway and be a Biani coming on it's a risk guys but the last thing I want is to give up um any goal so we've got 20 in-game minutes left the substitutions have been made and nothing really has happened in this match. It's been a very, very dry game. Nothing I can get going um, and run the back foot. But if we can take away a nil-nil for our first game, I would be happy. Or we can steal a win. Or we can defend this, defend this, defend this. Right. Our first opportunity in the second half properly. And it's... Oh, no. Oh, we're taking a late defeat by the looks of it, guys. Cagliari go forward. Cagliari go forward and do get the goal. And there's only a few minutes left of the game now. Clavan boots the ball up. We need to get an opportunity. And it's not looking like, oh, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? We've got nice control of the ball. Inglese, please do something. It's, it's not looking good, is it? Oh, yeah, again. Good save by the keeper. It saved us from embarrassment. Unless this goes in. It doesn't. Seppi, get gone, get gone. Shouts. And I think that's too little too late, guys. The full-time whistle is going to go. And we have picked up our first loss of the Serie A. Or is it? Or is it? Get that ball out. Oh, it is. It's a first loss. I was thinking it wasn't. We're going to have to take some sitting down and sort this bloody team out. So we come back, guys, and we are close to our second game of the Serie A. Obviously, the players have been training. Um, a few decent players in there as well, um, which have done all right. And it's... It's been a tough week, to be fair. Um, I've not been uh, impressed with a lot of things that I've seen. Uh, I issued a warning to one of the players who got the red card. Absolutely no need for it. So early on in the game as well, we got hit with an injury to one of our players, which um, he was only out for two days, but it cost us in-game as well and made us change everything around. Now, in the previous game, which Genoa played, they played Juventus and they picked up a 1-1 draw, which is a little bit annoying a little bit annoying because it shows they do have the ability to contain the better teams in the league if not the best team with Juventus and now we're going to come on and hopefully try and upset them in the away game to Genoa obviously I want to pick up the points do the work but it's going to prove very very difficult as Juventus smash Bologna 5-1 Cristiano Ronaldo with two goals so we're moving on to the Sunday games now guys um, the team, we're going to take a look at the team as well before we sort that and uh, see how we get on Saturdays and pre-match tactical briefing. We scored none of our 16 shots outside the penalty area and done. And we're going to get uh, the assistant manager to do that because I think every, <laughs> every decision that I make going forward, guys, is never working out. And we're going to see and get into our game as we travel to it. Fitness tests. I'm hoping Bia Biani... Not quite fully fit. Should be. Should, I want him back, guys. I really do want him back. I want him to come into the team and see. I don't really know what's going to go down. We're in the similar league positions as well. But obviously, us taking the loss, I really don't want two losses on the shot. So, Rigoni, Rigoni, is, Rigoni sorry, is the player who was out of the team and the one which did get the red card. So, he's suspended. And um, I'm going to keep the team as it is. Everyone looks fully fit. Inglesia looks a little bit rough. Um, but apart from that, the team looks all right. So let's see what it decides to do, guys. Gallardo in. Polito in as well. Right, let's see what we're doing, guys. Submit the team and let's get up and underway for our second game of the episode. Please, please help me get a, get a win. And the team's come out for the second game. It's an important fixture, this one. Obviously, two games played. And 
I don't know, it's a little bit annoying getting... I've got, I've, I, did I just see an injury again? Are we gonna... We better not. Right. Oh, where was that? VAR! VAR has been called out! It's happening, guys! It's happening! What's he gonna... Don't say a penalty. What's he given there? Oh, it wasn't. It's just VAR. Thank God for that. We've got an in, They've got an injury, sorry, on um, their uh, central defender. How are we looking, though? Nothing really much is happening uh, in this game. We've had two shots each. We've had one on target. Possession's looking pretty good as well. Um, which encourage our players to try and play short passing. So, um, encourage. And uh, let's see what we're doing. Fires back up the feed book. Our, our man of the season so far, guys, has been the goalkeeper, even though we lost in the first game. I was thinking he's going to go straight down the middle. Let's see. Inglese with making a run into the middle. Nice pass and play. Controlling the ball. Don't give it away. Daff. Oof. Nice. What's happening? What's happening? Before half time would be absolutely fantastic. As we give away the ball and don't get caught in the middle. We have been caught in the middle. Oh my days. How is this even happening? We've been caught on the counter. And for the second game in a row guys. Inglese has been given that yellow card. As we move into half time. Kiyami with the goal, Inglese booked. That is rough. That is rough. Struggle for possession. Maybe I'm playing maybe I'm playing the wrong tactics and something to take a look at going forward. So I'm gonna tell him to calm down. Cautious. Um and put him that motivated. I'm gonna I'm gonna hopefully do the players on. And uh We'll do him. Seem deep in thought. It's the attacking side, which I want people to do. Looked happy. We're getting team talks about there. He was probably our best player, but Bar Barilla, um, who I do want. And let's get him. And let's go for him. With him as well. So with that, we're ready for the second half, guys. Hopefully, we can pull it back and grab a point at least. Two losses would see us in a really, really bad position for the rest of the league. And I think it's getting to the time, guys, where I'm going to have to make some subs. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing's happening again. Sub time. It's going to have to be sub time, isn't it? And glaze it off. It's not, it's not even his fault. <sighs> we'll, give him a, we'll give him a run on. And Bia Bian is not really close to being match fitness, match fit, so match fit. And we need some something changing. Right, let's give him a shout and bring on. Should we sit, switch up the formation as well? We'll make them two changes now, and we might end up changing the um, changing stuff around. But we've got 20 in-game minutes, guys, to make the change. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to switch up the formation to uh, a more attacking side. Team instructions and low crosses. Let's see if that can uh, can help us. And I might as well make this final substitution and give Biabiani a run on into the side as well. So Javinio out, uh, play I think. What do I do then? And then make a sub as we've got 15 minutes and Sparati can come out. And Biabiani hopefully can come on and offer something else. But nothing's looking like it's going to happen, guys. Final 10 minutes. And we're going to take another 1-0 loss. Two 1-0 losses. Javino's injured as well. Uh, not good. We'll take him off. Full-time whistle, guys. Full-time whistle. I don't believe my team is set up the best. This is not good. This is not good. Javinho looks switched off. I'm gonna have to shout at them. I'm gonna have to shout. I'm angry. I am. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am pretty angry. Um, I'm gonna go for that one. Javinho's injured though. That's not never good looking into the game. So let's assess what's going down, guys. <coughs> I still can't believe that with two losses into the start of the Serie A, Jovino's out injured for 
four weeks. Right? That's a bad, bad, a bad, bad bit of news to get. And our next game, guys, is against Bologna. And Bologna are sat 11th. Not fun. Not fun. Also, for everyone curious about the injuries that we have taken, this is how bad it is in the Parma ranks. We have got Bastoni out for three to six weeks. Um, we've got a lot of long-range injuries, especially Minari um, in there, who I didn't register for this uh, for this round. Uh, we've also got um, Sturrock out with a pull fire. He's only out for a day. And um, one of the players has returned back, which is Bibiani, and I think he might get a run in the team. I'm hoping that he gets a run in the team, but... Who knows, guys? I don't want to rush people back so they can get injured as fast as they've come back because my team is pretty deep at the moment. And I'm hoping the next game can at least get me a And here we are, guys. 1st of September, and it is our third game of the Serie A. Two losses up until this point, two 1-0 defeats, and fitness tests just not, like, it's not the best, is it? Abia Biani, I really need him to get better. A few players recovering from injury and even being hit with some injuries midweek. I think after this game, though, it does become an international break for a little bit, and we have got basically two weeks off. So this is a must-win home game and uh, do not want to be taking a loss on our field. A big rivalry in the Parma versus Bologna, and I'm hoping that this is where the work gets done. Now, one of the issues we do have with this game, guys, is that because Jovino has been hit out injured, Biabiani's come in, Spricati's moved over to the left, and now we've got to hope that we can potentially get the work done. Um, the way that this setup as well is pretty nice. It looks like it's set up to be a counter-attacking formation as well, and this is where I want my team to come on. But the team looks all right, it's ready, and I think, depending on what happens in this game, this is where we're going to have to sit down in the international break and maybe even change formation and everything else like they that. they just scored? No, that was a chance for them. I thought they'd just scored that angle then and scared the hell out of me uh, when I saw that. The players look composed. Um, we're having a few opportunities. Whip it in, whip it in. I just want him to whip it in, I won't lie. Maybe that's what I'm going wrong. Um, Biabiani is going to have to come off at half time though. Because uh, of his match fitness. Need to give him time to get used to the game. And we've had this, we've been passing around and got caught out. But, oh, it's cleared. It is picked up, it's been cleared out again. Oh my days. Oh my, are you serious? We've been caught on the counter. For the third time now, for the third time, and we go 1 0 down against Bologna in Zaghi's team with the lead. And I'm looking, uh, let's uh, let's get this team or, or show some passion. Let's get them up there, guys. And Bia Biani looks anxious. He is going to have to come off at half time, though. He's frustrated, anxious, and he's knackered by the looks of it. 1 0 down, guys. Destro with the goal, and we are going to have to take off Bia Biani now. Um, I, don't, I literally have no idea what to do with the team. I want to make a sub. Um, but I don't think anything can change. It's like we're messing around with the ball. So something definitely isn't right with the tactics. Uh, I might have to switch up the formation um, to something else. I might have to set it up after this game, actually. But Biabiani is going to go out. And I think match fitness is, is an issue with everyone. I think this we're going to give this guy one out, aren't we? Or is there anybody else? Yeah, Berea. Let's give Berea a, a run out there and uh, see how we can get on in the second half. Three losses in the row, guys. <laughs> this series might be shorter than I expected. Oh, caught me there, guys. We got a corner. We get a goal. And um, is it the substitute who scored? No, Berea. But we do get it, and we could potentially pull back into the game as well. Unless, what's well, given a free kick? He's given a free kick. Oh, he's given a penalty. What? We go two one down. At least we've scored. Changes are going to have to happen, guys. Bringing some attacking players. Inglesia has not been on fire at the moment, and uh, we're going to give him a run out. And the final player, I would say Polido, but it's the attacking in it. Spicati off. Or grassy, do I want to save a DM? We'll go with Spricati as well. Make them changes, and hopefully, they're the changes which can get us back into the game with 30 minutes left, guys. Three losses in a row. Corner whipped in. Oh, just over. That would have been nice. Let's get the let's get the shouts out. Push forward. 
we need the we need it everyone's frustrated composed fired by the feedback but the defense is not looking happy what's going to happen and it's coming to the end guys it's looking like we have picked up our third loss of the Serie A start absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous I'm furious I am furious but what can we do we've hit the international break now this is where the work's gonna have to happen we are back after the international fixtures have taken place our next game I don't know guys three losses on the bounce is not the best start for any manager taking over a new team especially Palmer and uh, I'm just taking a look at this away from the uh, the game itself and I'm going to handle the pre-match briefing as well this time round. So, switched up formation. We've gone with the 4-2-3-1 uh, wide now and hopefully Spicati and uh, Di Gaudio can help me with it. I don't really know, guys. I'm a little bit stuck and the team up against a strong team as well with Zaza and Bellotti up front. Two dangerous, dangerous players uh, in the world of football. And uh, I don't really know. I don't, I'm lost. I'm literally lost with the team, guys. Um, so with that, we're just going to put... I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm lost, and I didn't think I would ever feel like that. I'm going to hand it over to the assistant manager again, and hopefully we can hit a draw, at least a point on the board, against Torino if we take a look at the competitions uh, you can see that we are sat 19th in the league which is never good and um, I need Inglésia to start firing I literally have no idea what's going to go down guys we've got a tough run of fixtures Torino who are currently um, 14th Atlanta next then Fiorentina who are high up in Chievo uh, as well so this could be a defining part of the season but we're going to get into this game guys see how we get on and hopefully the new formation can help us and the players themselves can start firing because that's something we definitely are lacking with the team so into our next match guys you can see we're up against some decent a decent team as well very defensive we've gone a little bit attacking this time but I do want to get the goals uh, if possible and uh, let's see if the new tactics which I've made a mess around with well show them deeper after this game guys so you can see uh, but hopefully this can be the chance I get scared every time I see that goal back to the goalkeeper don't be gone one nil down already two minutes after the change guys wow right i think there's something going on in the background but i can't see it because i'm not on the pitch pitch there we go no it's not happened it's not happened here we go there is an opportunity now oh <laughs> what, is what is going on we are two nil down oh no it's offside thank god for that my god var inglese put the ball through sirigu with the catch and we're on the back foot here, guys, against the team. This is going to... Oh, no. What's going there? Corner? Corner. We are on the back foot. I might have to play... Maybe this was the, the game where my old tactics and formation was the good setup. We've had one shot, one on target. Nothing has happened, um, apart from us picking up a yellow card. Two yellow cards now, uh, in fact, as well. Never, ever good. Let's see what happens when we get into the half and see what changes we can make then. So half time guys, we have got a majority of the possession with 60, we're just not doing anything with it, we're getting caught on the counter attack and it's never fun. Um, I did change round in, in the tactics which I went to, but I need my players to come on and uh, when it's stuff like that, assertive and let's, let's get him, let's get him in. Listen keenly, seem to lose focus. I need Inglésia to get happening because he should be putting the ball in in the net and hopefully he can do it. And there's nothing, nothing's happening with it. Wow. This is nothing, nothing happening with it. Let's see, guys. Everyone seems to be losing focus here. Let's get into the second half and see what we can do now. Caught out again in defence. Over the top three balls keep catching me out. I don't know if it's lack of pace or whatnot, but we are getting absolutely rinsed 
when it comes to putting the ball over the top of the defence. We're holding the possession, we're building up the play, but when it comes to that, we're just not getting in. A long ball down the line. Where's the next ball coming from? There it is, guys. Called it. Guess what? 3-0 down now. Zaza, third goal of the season. Brilliant. Made some changes going into this, guys. Trying to pull a goal back and we're just still pondering around. Can't believe we're 3-0 down to Torino. Three, this is our fourth game in. And we're doing all right, but we're just not getting the ball in the back of the net. Have we even... We have scored one. We scored one in the last game. But this one is rough. Made two substitutions to try and get it done. If this is four... Oh, my dear. Zaza makes it 4-0. The stress of being a manager is kicking in now. As, as, what's going on? Ooh, we got a goal. Hey. 4-1. Comebacks on, guys. Let's make some changes. Inglesio wasn't really doing much for us, guys, so we've had to substitute him on. Um, we're going to have to get some uh, get something going, and hopefully this can help with the team. Obviously, 4-1 is never a good look uh, in this game with 10 minutes left. And all I want to do is get back in the changing rooms. Two goals would be good, though. If we get a second goal, I'd be happy. But look again. Oh, it's a field day for Zaza. Fifth goal. How many goals has he even got today? Four goals he's scored against us. And now he gets subbed off. We have been absolutely slaughtered by Torino in this match. And there it is, guys. Full time. A 5-1 defeat to them. What can I even do? What can I even do? The games which are coming up now, if we look at it, if we go to schedule, the games which are coming up, we we, we should we are probably rock bottom now. Of, of, we're still not rock bottom. But we are probably looking towards getting relegated. The ball confidence isn't looking good, guys. I hope I can make it for a season, but I'm struggling. Points. Actually, if we get some points, we can lock ourselves up reasonably high. And our next game is against Atlanta, who are currently 12th and a solid team. And saying that, Torino, they, 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 they looked like they were that good. And then guess what? Absolutely smacked. So here we are, guys, with the changes that I did make in the last game. 4 2 3 my changed it up. Went with a positive mentality. So in possession, you can see that we've got passing, shorter passing. But I might go with the standard on that one. And tempo, I might knock that up to higher. Um, and see, never time waste, be more creative, etc. In transition, we've got hold shape. When, when possession has been won, hold shape. When possession has lost, counter press. Goalkeeper in position, slow pace down. It's it's mainly when we get caught, we're getting caught out on the line. And I don't know where it is. Do we go wider? No, I'm probably going to stay this. I did notice there was something in training about um, the, the, um, the, what do you call it? There was, uh, actually, there was something where we're doing uh, offside trap. And that was catching me out a few times this time. But anyway, if you guys do want to help me with this and see something I'm doing critically wrong... Let me know in the comment section below as well. And uh, let's see if we can bring it in for maybe the next episode and try and help me with that run again. Now, this is going to be a tough match against Atlanta. Some very, very good players in it. Ilicic, Gomez, Barrows in there as well. As well as a decent defence. One positive we've got in this game is Jovino is back in the team. Um, whether he can do anything, I don't know. Because at the moment, this is a sinking ship and the Parma rebuild is not going to plan. Let's maybe, hopefully, try and pick up a point, if not, snatch that victory against them as Jovino gets his first shot since being out injured. Right, counter, 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 go, 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 go. Spicati down the wing. Oh, Inglese didn't receive the ball there. He's got it now. Jovino, ball in. Oh, good save. If he had put that in the other corner, who knows, might have happened. But positives in this already. <laughs> you guys know what happened was that one. Um... We're winning. I don't know how to feel, guys. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I was uh, I was a little bit all over the shop here. I was like, oh, right. We're oh, we're there. Ooh, ball. Oh, no, no. And again. Thank God he blazed that over, guys. We're doing well, though. We're doing well. We're getting in. We're 1-0 up. Nothing much has happened. Apprehensive on a few players. But I'm going to try and sort that out at half-time. And hopefully take... The uh, lead with Joel Campbell has just scored for Fossentine. Not bad. We are. We... Oh, corner. 
Right, come on, lads. Maybe get a second. Oh, good save by the by the keeper there. A good half, though. A really good half. And uh, Spakati with the goal as well. So we're going 1-0 at half-time. Um, I want to try and get him up. And try and... Uh, and everyone's playing re really, really well. He's playing insane. He's been playing very well. And, um, and let's see if we can get it in. And Inglesia, I really need him to start happening. Come on, dude. You need, you need to get out. I don't want to be aggressive. I get scared when I go, to it, go aggressive. Um, and let's go for it. Nothing specific. That isn't that fantastic when you go to do something else like that. You listen keenly. And uh, Javinho... Let's uh, keep going with him being cautious. Um, and let's go with that. Right, let's go into the second half, guys, and see if Palmer can get their first victory of the season. They've got a corner. Oh, they've equalised. I knew it was going to happen. I was just hovering over make a sub, guys, but they have equalised. Regardless, though, we are playing very well. I am going to make the sub now, unless it's free kick. Oof. Nearly, but we are going to go and make some subs, guys, and try and um, get the team. So, Javino's come back. He's going to go out. We're going to bring in... Yeah, we're going to bring him in uh, De Gaudo. Not match fit, but... Uh, and Beret, a little bit weird with him today, but hopefully this, this can help and make them two substitutions and uh, see if the team can, uh, can do a little bit better. So it's been an even game. Obviously, we've had more chances. Dodgy passing. Is it dodgy passing or not? It's nice. It's nice play. Moving and spreading it. Get it in. Get it because in. Because this happens. No. Oh, it's happened again. We're caught on the counter. And we go 2-1 down. And this is going to be... like my head's, my head's gone. Their head's gone. And after taking the lead, guys, I think this could be the end. And I want to try and maybe bring something up. Maybe go more out attacking. Play, playing the counter attack just doesn't work though. I am lost. I am lost. And let's take Inglesi out and bring on him. Right. Let's see it, guys. Let's see what can happen for the final 10 minutes. Maybe grab a goal. What a tackle. Down the wing again. What is he doing? We could have easily been 3 1 down there, guys. Easily 3 1 down. They're getting through way too easily. Five minutes, corner. It's a goal kick. And again, which I think we potentially should have won. Oh. Oh, not a red. Grass has been sent off. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And that's a full-time whistle, guys. Grassy booked, grassy red card. Now, this is never fun to see, guys. Easy win predicted for Fiorentina. Fiorentina are flying in the Serie A, doing very, very well. And we are struggling very, very hard. We are yet to pick up a victory. If you look at the competitions, guys, we are sat rock bottom of the Serie A now. Even with Chavo, who had points deducted, they've got three points. And we are not looking good. Not looking good at all. Something needs to happen. And hopefully fast. And here we are, guys. We have reverted back to the old formation, which was the um, 4 one 2 4 one 4 one formation. And hopefully this can help. Because we've had adapted a, um, a mentality now of defensive. And I don't know what's going to go down. We are rock bottom of the Serie A. Not looking good. And I don't know where to start messing up with. But I'm expecting, I'm expecting a loss in this game. Just because of Fiorentina's aggressive style. And insane players like Simeone. We've done alright to get past the 12th minute, to be fair, without conceding. Dabo's in there. They've got a nice bunch of players. And uh, they've had loads of shots on target. But nothing noticeable as of yet. And we may see out the first half, actually, pretty well. If we can get a draw here, I will be happy. Let's see what happens until the halftime, though. They've got a chance. Oh, what a goal line save that was. Whew, thought that had crept over, but it hasn't. And we get very lucky in that opportunity. VAR didn't even have to come in, guys, or goal line technology. But we pulled it into half time at 0 0. We've done alright. Struggle for possession. 
even though we've got a little bit better than them. Total fouls, shots on target, none. And let's see what we can do in the second half. So, keeper yet again doing the work as we always do. And um, I just want to change something with the team, but I don't know what. Let's get into it. And let's uh, show some passion and see what that helps. Maybe they get annoyed, frustrated by the criticism. Ball out to no one. They're going to pick this up and score. I hate seeing these highlights. I also want to give my defender another run as well because my defence seems very open. As you can see, Fiorentina were enjoying a lot of the ball at this stage as we are now. Don't lose it, whatever. Nice passing. Ball in, go on Javino, whip it in, and Glazer get a goal. Someone, we have! Bia Biani comes in, guys, and we make it 1-0 uh, in this game. Nice. Let's keep going. Let's keep fired up, guys. We've got a yellow on, on, on two important players there. We're creeping in. I'm going to make some subs now, though, and uh, see what happens there. We've got Bia Biani. I don't want to lose him to a card, so we're going to bring in uh, Siraketa. And he's, his match fitness isn't the best. And I'm going to bring out Polido, who is obviously the defender who we want to brought, bring in. And uh, bring in this guy, I think. No, we're going to bring in Bruno Alves. And they're the two confirmation subs we're going to make. Hopefully that can help. Let's see what happens. If we can steal a victory here, though, or at least a point. Brilliant. Bruno Alves has been done. Oh, that went right over his head. We go to 1-1. One, one. I'm going to have to bring... Oh, we're there. We've got... Is that them with an opportunity? It is them with an opportunity. I'm going to get my final sub on, which is going to be him. And they're going to score off the corner, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I want to swear. I want to swear. But we... We're 1-0 up. And now we're 2-1 down. Is it going to get even worse? Yeah, that ball over. Look at how open my defence is. Bruno Alves, I'm just noticing, always noticing Bruno Alves is the person who usually is making the mistake. Like The ball usually goes over him. And bringing him on was maybe a, a stupid stupid decision. Would love to get the ball back though. That's going to be game, guys. We're getting embarrassed here. And we've got a free kick. He's not carded. And this is the final chance of the uh, game. And we have, we've lost 2-1 to Fiorentina in a game we could have won. So after sitting down with the team guys and having it, we had to have some, we had to sort out the team spirits of the players. The morale was a little bit low and um, we're in a situation now guys where we've took it, taken some heavy, heavy defeats in the first part of the season, literally shaping the way this... Uh, like Bates in, in the Champions League with Parma, definitely isn't going to happen in the first season now. Um, but you can see what's coming up. And it is a fixture which I am looking forward to, which is the game um, against Chievo. We have lost every single game of the Serie A, literally six losses on the trot. And now this is the game which I want to do, pick up my win. This is a relegation battle now. And then we've got some, oh my. Oh. Well, there's two wins out of four potentially there. Who knows? And here we are, guys. A defining moment of the season. Relegation battle already after six games. And uh, I'm hoping the players can, uh, can adjust after the team meeting we had midweek. It's been a rough start. Some tough games. And it's going to get even tougher moving on into this month. If we don't win this game... I will be thoroughly, thoroughly disappointed. But yeah, again, they've got some dangerous players in their team and we're holding possession very well. And Grassy, will you stop getting yellow cards? He is doing my head in. Ball in from a throw in. Inside, whip it in, whip it in, whip it in. Ball in, who's got it? Javinho out, out to the wing again. Inglese gets scoring, dude. Let's get it. Let's get it. Javinho. Oh, straight at the keeper. And a good save. Our first decent opportunity of the game there. Is this gonna is this gonna hurt me? Oh, they've missed. They had an absolute sitter there, guys, and they could have been 1-0 up. We're looking. We're looking nervous. 
Grassy, he keeps picking up the yellow cards as well. Where is he? I'm going to tell him to calm down. Calm down, dude. Need to do that with him because he keeps getting the yellow cards. And the same with him as well. I need him to be careful. Avoid another booking. And um, Inglese. I need him to get firing. This is rough. If we don't win it, this 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 could be the, the this could be us getting sacked. This could be us getting sacked. Right, get the ball out. How have we not got anything in this game yet? Oh my! Oh my! The ball got whipped over. It's going to get VAR. Is he going to give the goal? Please wipe it. He's given the goal. Oh, what am I even? Oh, what a finish that was. Who was that? Javinio? Bia Biani again. He's making some insane goals. He actually came second in goal of the month as well um, for us. I'm actually going to take off Rigoni beyond Barilla and. Um, I'm also going to take off Gorilla and bring on Desi. And I think I'll leave the next substitution for a little bit. But we need to play it and then let's give him a shout and then give him to uh, show some passion. And hopefully that can uh, can help us for the remainder of the game. I'm going to get a family bring in another sub now. Yeah, and Bibian is going to go off now, guys. He is looking exhausted. And. Uh, Let's bring on a man who we had faith in at the start and see if that can help us. It's going to be a 1-1 draw, isn't it? Unless something happens in the final couple of minutes. <laughs> Unless something happens here. Right, come on, Inglese. Do some at Javino's sloppy ball there. Oh. Hit on the counter. And we've picked up a 2-1 loss there, guys. This is tough. This is very, very tough. And that takes us to how many defeats? It's nasty. And it's going to get even worse. Seven games. Seven defeats. I'm calling the episode there, guys. We need to shape up. Hopefully you he can help me with it. I take a look at Summit and try and rekindle our love for the game, which is this. Rough episode, but thank you very much again, Football Manager, for sponsoring the video. Leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not. Until next time, bye-bye.